I want to show you some of the problems that I've encountered lately about light. And I, I didn't mean to do this in, as an experiment, but we're going to because it just happened. So this is where I can set up my sea star if I'm pointing at south facing objects. And so this is my front porch and I do have lights on my house, you see, but I um, can turn those off and I do when I'm imaging out here, but I do have lights across the street. So like we have the street light right here and then I have neighbor's lights. They, they really aren't as bright looking as they are in here. <laughs> It, it comes across a little brighter in the video than it does in reality. But I do have a neighbor that just installed that. And it's just a security camera. And so when there's somebody out there walking around, it turns on and then it's on a timer and it turns off. But um, these are just normal lights. See, maybe that gives you a better idea what kind of light I have. I turn off my lights to my house so that it's dark but this is what I have to contend with when I'm imaging things to the south. And that's what I did the other day when I was doing the Eagle Nebula. And I, I did this one for part of a plan. And so I was imaging this direction all night long. And I got some really good shots actually, and it saved quite a bit of exposures, but I wanna show you the difference. So I'm gonna go to a different place in my, my yard. I'm not getting in the car and going anywhere, but a different place that I go to image and I'll show you the difference. So I'm gonna go into my backyard and the automatic light is coming on on my phone because it's dark. So this is the deck where I shoot a lot of my images. There is a light on from my phone so, and I'm leaving it on just so you can see what there is. So out the back, I have a lot less light as long as I don't have neighbors who are turning on floodlights or something, but it's not nearly as bright out here. But um, this is where I set up my sea star and then I can point to the south from here. And it blocks that light from the street light. I do still get a little bit from my neighbors but I don't get as much light here as I do from that other location. And so I'm going to um, image the Eagle Nebula and I'm going to um, post some of the differences and show you what the differences are with just the difference in the Bortle light. Okay, I fit, I've switched up the recording, so now I am recording a video on my phone and I'm recording the audio on my computer, so it may sound just a little bit different. But now I want to show you the results of the difference in lighting. So the first night I was um, out on my front porch that I showed you in the beginning with the street light and my neighbor's houses and every once in a while a car will drive by, that kind of thing. Then I um, took you in my backyard where I set it up and also point to the south. I'm more limited. I can't get very, I have to go basically direct south to southwest. I can't go southeast at all uh, from that direction. Otherwise I hit my house. And so um, I wanted to, I was just imaging the Eagle Nebula and hoping I could get it in that small window that I have to image from there to the south. And so I did that and I wanna show you the difference. I, I really didn't plan on this being a thing that I was gonna do, but it ended up being kind of interesting. And um, the first night I did um, as part of a plan and I, uh, uh, let's just get into the, the pictures cause I can't remember all the numbers. And so, um, what I want to do is this one was the first one I took and I have edited this picture and cropped it down, but you can see the, the color here, it's kind of brown and faded. That was the one that I took from my front porch and it saved, I can't really remember. 
and it doesn't show on this picture. Let me go into my, let's see, how else can I find this? Um, I guess I can get it when I go into the subs folder, but then I did this last night from my deck in the backyard. So it's only about a hundred feet away, but it's just, my house is blocking some of that ambient light that is coming from the street light and cars and things. And you can see a major difference in the color. You see the brightness here. Um, let's go into the subs folder because that is where I really noticed the difference. Okay, so this was on from my backyard pointing south through that little window of sky to the south. And these were the exposures that it saved. And then when I scroll down here a little bit more, um, we'll get to the ones that it saved the night before from my front porch. And you see the big difference here? So you can see that when I was imaging from the front porch where I had all of that light coming in, it wasn't saving a whole lot of light in each exposure. But then all I did is move the telescope to the back yard, image the same exact object with less light pollution. You know, I'm still in the same Bortle area. I just don't have all that ambient light that's so direct. And so it made a huge difference in this picture. I'm in the middle of imaging right now so that we might get little messages. But I thought that was amazing, the difference that it made just moving at that 100 feet. So I guess what the moral of this video is, is choose your site wisely. I mean, you don't have to pack up your gear and go into the mountains or out into the wilderness those are all fabulous things to do too if that's what you choose to do but the beauty of having the sea star is its flexibility and so if you're going to be flexible and you want to have good time to put on to some objects you got to choose your site wisely so maybe if i can image to the south in that little window that i have in between my house and my neighbor's house i probably should do that if I can't, I may not have an option and I may have to do it from my for front porch. But um, I, I wondered if, I, let's see how many subs it saved. I don't know if it will divide it for me here and tell me how many were one night and how many were the next. I don't think it tells me. No, it just, um, I, di I did find that, let me see if I can find the images. Uh, let's see that that's my recording I'm gonna go here and try and find the differences okay so here's the first night this was imaging to the south and it saved an hour and a half of images to to come up with this and I thought that was fabulous I was thrilled and then I got up oh let's see this is not going to work out as nice as I had hoped because it's just okay. So, this is the picture I took from the backyard, and it only saved 67 minutes. Is that a seven? Yeah, 67 minutes. So, it's 30 minutes less than the other one, but look how brilliant that picture is compared to the, the first one. And really, the only difference is that light that was. Um, apparent in the first image and I really thought that the first image I got was really quite beautiful too but man the the image of this and it's less exposure so you can see the difference that a light the light makes in our imaging so this one was 67 minutes the other one was 90 something big difference in time but the image with the least exposure minutes turned out better and it's all due to that lighting oh and there's the pillars of creation isn't this a beautiful nebula i just love this one this is probably one of my favorites and i've just been able to image it the last couple of nights and so it's been a lot of fun to do this one so i i was amazed at the difference and that's why i decided to do this video so choose your site wisely if you can shield some of that light with some of the things in your yard to block um, other light and things do it and 
that's what I would recommend. And I'm glad um, that I figured this out because I'm going to be a little bit more careful where I'm imaging from here on out and choosing my site a little bit more wisely. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and give you some food for thought. Um, in, enjoy the evening. Hopefully the clouds have cleared up for everybody and I'm wishing clear skies for everybody. Thanks for watching.